Okay, this is the second part of the software installation for the TX800 UV printer. So we are going to return to that ProColor software package folder we have and extract the ProRip software zip file that you see there. So browse uh, again and find on your C drive the folder that we created. Remember, that was the one that we called in our original uh, beginner, the video prior to this, we called it the Pro Color Software Package. So install that. Once that installs, you're gonna now have some extra files in that folder and you have to unzip again. So you see this second Pro Rip um, package here that you have, you're going to right click on that and again, click extract all. I would also, again, continue to recommend use, using that same C drive folder that we have created. It just keeps everything all in one place. This doesn't take very long, and then once you have that, you will then have the application that you can double click to begin the installation. Uh, this is just going to take a couple of minutes, and it will guide you through a couple of um, on-screen prompts that you'll have to you know, continue to click next and those types of prompts for. There's rough, nothing here really that you, you know, need to do. I will tell you um, that the settings are pretty intense in the next steps, but for right now, just continue to click next and allow this installation to uh, complete. It will give you a confirmation when um, the setup is complete. If you get any errors, I was able to kind of just click through them and everything worked fine. You do need to agree to the terms and license um, and then you will get, as I said, this confirmation to finish and the installation will be complete. Uh, Pro Rip will then launch itself and you will come into the main screen, screen where you will see the artboard. And this is where we are going to start a series of settings. Okay, before we begin adding any settings or adjusting any settings, a couple of things you should know. One, most of these settings you are only going to have to do here and now on this in initial setup. So don't be completely overwhelmed by the number of settings. I am going to tell you it is a lot. Two, I have a complete step-by-step uh, setup guide that has all of these steps written out on Silhouette School blog that you can also refer back to, which I will also link in the description below. And three, you will need to put in your print, or you will need to put in the ProRip um, dongle so that you are able to unlock the full version of the software. Okay, so we're going to begin, um, again, make sure that your USB is in there, and then we are going to begin um, here in the software. So the first thing that you want to do is click this box up in the top right. It looks like a little scaling box. And you want to put the width in as 11 and the height as 14. This is just going to set your artboard. Then you will click OK. Now at the top, you're going to have this arrows. You're going to continue to press these um, as we go. So, okay, so click those arrows. And then at the top, what you want to do is select um, the printer icon on the top menu. That is going to pull up a list of printers. So none of these printers are what you want. So what you want to do is go through this list and click delete on all of the printers. Once you get through deleting all of the printers, then what you are going to do is click the button on the right side that says import printer. Okay, so now you're going to navigate back to that same folder, and in the ProRip folder, you are going to have this AV3 ProRip um, uh, driver. So select, click that, and click Open, and when it returns you back to ProRip under Installed Printers, you should now have the UV A3 Pro TX800 listed as your default. So once you do that, you are able to X out of this screen. The next thing that you want to do is, again, click those arrows at the top so that you get this screen here. And then there's a cloud-looking icon along the top menu bar. That is the tool that is going to allow you to open some art. So I want you to open up, find a piece of, or find a file, a PNG file, um, and bring that into your artboard by just simply selecting it and clicking open. If your file comes in like this, it's very, very huge. You can scale it. You can see I have this small, I don't know why it looks like it's transparent menu um, or options down at the bottom, but you can see mine is actually 78 inches wide. So obviously you wanna scale that down um, to fit on your 11 by 14 artboard. Okay, once you do that, again, you're gonna go back, 
those top arrows in the top right and you're going to click that to get into um, the screen where you can click this gear. Select the print mode. So you wanna print, you wanna select manual print after rip and then designate a folder or create a new one on your computer for where you want all of your ripped images to go. So I just created a brand new folder in that same UV um, software folder that we already have. And this is where all of your files will go after they are ripped from the ProRip. Once you do that, you can click OK and close out of this setting. Now again, you wanna click those arrows so that you get back to where you have the options on the right hand side for RGB, W1, and W2. Under W1, you wanna change the option to the invaginate. I don't even know what that means to be honest. Enter 0.2 millimeters in all four of the fields. Okay, then you're gonna to change to W2 and change that to extend and also enter 0.2 millimeters in all of the fields. When you click save at the top of this, it will allow you to name it and you'll be able to save this template so you can just apply it to all of your future um, projects. And then what you wanna do is click on RGB. So at the RGB option, then you will have the tool at the top, it's this little circle to click the rip tool. So this is not going to actually begin the rip yet. What you wanna do is from driver settings, you wanna select 720 by 1440 DPI. And then you wanna click OK. In the same settings panel under print area, uncheck the boxes to keep the top margin and keep the left margin. You don't need to do that. You also need to uncheck the box for mirror because you don't need to print your images in mirror. And as an option, which I would suggest, you can check the box to rotate 180 degrees. Once you do this um, and then you click OK, your image will rip. Once the file is done ripping and you can watch the processing, the status of the processing, it is going to be saved in that folder that we created where all of the rip file images are. So from there, what you can do is navigate back and you'll confirm that there is your ripped sheet. So at this point, if you open up the other software, the print exp that we installed in the first video in this series, now you can go over there and you are able to go to file and open up, navigate to that same file folder and open up the fully ripped image. And from here, you will see it has multiple layers. That's why it's discolored the way that it is here. And you will Will be able to begin the printing process. Okay, you made it. I know that that software installation could be a little bit stressful, especially if you're not, you know, real keen on doing it. You're not super familiar with PC because you're like me and you're a Mac girl, um, but you did it and now we are ready to do our first print. So if you haven't already gotten all the ink and everything set up in your printer, you are gonna obviously wanna do that before your first print. I do have videos on that as well. Um, if you're looking for supplies, if you're looking for more information, everything in the description below. All right, guys, see you soon.